in this lesson, we are going to multiply a mixed number and a whole number. So we can see what we need to do when we have a whole number in our multiplication problem and a mixed number in our multiplication problem. We are going to multiply one and a one-third times five. Now both of our factors need to be changed before we can multiply. We need to first change any mixed number we have in a multiplication problem to an improper fraction. So we know we multiply our whole number and our denominator. Three times one is three, and we add that to one. Four will be our new numerator, and we keep our denominator of three the same four-thirds. Now our whole number five needs to be changed to a fraction as well. To do this we simply write our five as our numerator and put our one as our denominator. Now by doing this five over one that is still equal to five if we were to try to change it to a mixed number. However, it makes it easier to multiply. Now that we have two improper fractions, we can multiply our numerators across to get our numerator. 5 times 4 is 20. And we can multiply across our denominators to get our denominator. 3 times 1 is 3. Now we have 20 over 3. We need to change 20 over 3 back to a mixed number because an improper fraction is not a proper answer. So to do that we know that this bar also means division. So when we change back to a mixed number we are going to divide 20 by 3. I'm going to use our partial quotients algorithm that we've used in the past, and I'm going to look for a factor to multiply by 3 that will get us, that will get us close to 20 but not over. I am going to use 6. 3 times 6 is 18. Let's see what we have left over. Now we need to change our 0 to a 10, and our 2 to a 1, using the trade first method of subtraction, and we have 2 left over. I'll bring that 2 back up here to be over top of our 3 to show our remainder, and our answer is 6 and 2 thirds, which will be written as a mixed number, 6 and two thirds for our answer. Remember, anytime you have a mixed number, you need to change it to an improper fraction. And if you have a whole number, you need to change it to a fraction by writing it over one. Then you can use your multiplication algorithm for fractions.